Hi, now if you watched the previous video in this series, what I did was have this table here of values of x and y. y was the dependent variable, it depended on what we had for x, and I drew you a scatter diagram of those points, and we drew on the line of best fit. Remember, the line of best fit was where we looked at the residuals, that was these distances here from the points to the line. And what we had to do was find a line which minimized the sum of the squares of these distances. And we did that calculation and it came to 5.3. And it turns out that this is the least value which gives us this regression line for y on x. Now statisticians use this form for the equation of a line. y equals a plus bx. a is the intercept with the y-axis and b is the gradient of the line. And without any proof, I told you that the equation of that line turns out to be y equals 1.53 plus 0.4x. Now the purpose of this video is to show you how we can get that equation of the line using a calculator. And I'm going to use the Casio class Wiz calculator here to demonstrate this. Although if you've got another scientific calculator, it may well have similar functions, but do check out your manual. Now before we start, what I'll do is I'll just display the screen in a larger form so that hopefully you can see it. Now the first thing that we need to do is select the menu key. So we tap that and choose option 6 which is the statistics menu. So if we choose option 6 we're then presented with this menu here and we need to take option 2 y equals a plus bx. That's the form of the regression line for y on x. So if we select 2, we're now presented with a table. And we need to enter our x values as displayed along here. And to do that, we just enter the first one, 1, and then press equals. And you can see it's entered. And we carry on like that, putting the other values in. So it'll be 2 equals, then 4 equals, 5 equals, 7 equals, and finally 8 equals. So our values are entered in. Now we need to send the cursor from here into the Y column and put it at the top. And we can do that very quickly just by pressing the cursor here down that puts us up to the top of the X column and then across by pressing this cursor key here. So at the top of the Y column now. And we just repeat the process by entering our Y data in here. So we'll start then with one. So it's one, enter it by pressing equals and repeat this. We've got three equals, three equals, five equals, three equals, and finally 5 equals. So we've now entered all our data into the table and we need to get the least squares regression line for y on x. And to do that we go up to here and select the option key. And by pressing that we're presented with this menu here and we need to select option 4, regression calculations. So by pressing 4 we're now given the values of A, B for the least squares regression line for Y on X in the form Y equals A plus BX. And we've got our value here as A equaling 1.53 recurring and B is equal to 0.4. We'll ignore this value for R. I'll be talking to you about that in a later tutorial. All we need to concern ourselves with is just the values of A and B. And you can see then that I've put them in here, although I haven't written 
1.53 recurring, I've just cut it off to two decimal places at 1.53. So a nice, short, quick method of finding then the equation of the regression line of y on x. So I hope you found that useful and thanks for watching.